Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Python and welcome back to another episode here of Ark Survival Evolved coming at you from the island. Thank you so much as always for all of your lovely support in the last episode, my friends. I very much do appreciate it. And guys, the last episode where we were taming a shark is one of the few episodes that has ever actually hit YouTube recommended for any period of time. So guys, if you're new to the channel from that video, then a warm, warm welcome to you folks. I very much do appreciate you guys giving my content a chance. Now, of course, if you guys do want to continue supporting the series, the best and easiest way to do so is simply to drop a like. And again, if you are new around here, you might want to consider subscribing so you don't miss out on my future content. So, since the last episode, I have been a busy bee doing odd jobs all around the place, my friendos. Do we have any more fertilizer here? Yes, we do. All right. Believe it or not, my friends, we are very, very close to our goal of having 42 fertilizer. We need 42 so we can put one bit of fertilizer in every single single crop plot inside of our greenhouse. So would you believe we are literally now only one fertilizer away? I've also gone ahead and crafted up a whole bunch of stuff inside of these here mortar and pestles. We've even got stimulants now as well as a whole bunch of other things as you can see. And more importantly since the last episode I've actually been going ahead and experimenting with the industrial cooker here because I've never ever made an industrial cooker before the last episode. So as you can see, we have various things going on in here. I've now got all of the uh, recipe sheets in here. I've also got energy brews and medical brews. It turns out that these two are actually incredibly easy to make. The energy brew, I think, requires stimulants and I think azelberries. And then the medical brew requires narcotics and tinto berries. So, yeah, another usage for our narcotics, which is pretty awesome, my friends. If we wind up in a sticky situation in a cave, we can consume a medical brew and get our health back pretty darn quick like. So while we're waiting for the final bit of fertilizer to be created, let's do the comment of the day for today. Poetic Twist simply says this, on the cliff above your base, you want to at least build some stone walls. This will keep wild dinos from dropping into your base. It's so simple. And quite why I didn't think of that myself is beyond me. So, uh, yeah, I think that would be a marvellous idea. We need to go ahead and make ourselves a bunch of stone walls. I mean, potentially maybe the large stone walls? Yeah, I don't know. I think maybe even just the regular stone walls would do the job. We just need ourselves a bunch of fence foundations. Chuck it all along the top there. And a little bit over there as well. So there's absolutely no chance of any dinos from ever just sort of falling in. And it feeling like it's raining dinos inside of our base area. So, yeah. Fence foundations. Stone walls. Let's do it. Also today, I thought it might be a nice idea to upgrade a little bit more into the electrical age. And the way we're going to do that is by placing down lampposts. That is right. As you can see, our standing torches and various other torches around our base are now starting to run out of fuel. And I kind of figured, you know what? We have an electrical generator. We have access to electricity. So why shouldn't we make ourselves lampposts? I mean, they're also brighter as well, especially when it comes to nighttime. So we'll have a nice healthy glow at our base. Might be one of the few times I actually wind up using this ladder here. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I could have just taken my Argentavis up here. But you know what? I actually fancied using this thing for once. I mean, I made it for goodness sake. So why not use it? All right. So here we are. Not too much going on up here. Okay, good Oh, Right, let's go ahead and uh, grab out these here uh, fence foundations. And we are going to start sort of uh, scattering them all along the top here, okay? All right, guys. So, as far as I'm concerned, I don't think there should be any dinos that wind up sort of roaming off here and then managing to land inside of my base. I don't think it'll happen. So, what I think I'll do is I'll stop the fences here, right? And then I will maybe finish it off with a pillar so it looks kind of nice, decent. Uh, do I have a stone pillar? Pillar. Let's have a look here. Stone pillar. Haha. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Looks like a proper sort of finished off fence area, doesn't it? Yeah. 
All right, that works out quite nicely, doesn't it? All right, let's go begin on the other side, and then we should be just about good. Oh, and just to mention, some of the bits are indeed doubled up because the single tall wall just didn't look high enough, and I feel like dudes might have been able to just sort of run over the top of it. So, uh, yeah, in the case of this area here, the walls are double tall. Let's go ahead and begin on this side here. We do have the waterfall to contend with this time, though. Ah, uh, huh. Right. What do we do here, eh? I mean, I'm thinking large stone walls. Blimey, a rally. I can barely see what's in front of my freaking nose. But guys, progress update. The waterfall has pretty much been blocked off. We've just got that side over there to do. And then we should just about have this goal in the bag. So I guess while we've got this heavy fog going on, and as a result not being able to see whether there's hostiles around or not when I am trying to get resources, I am going to see how our fertilizer is doing. Oh my goodness, it's all done. Oh, baby, that's fantastic. Guys, check it out. We have a full chest of fertilizer. Hey, it's not often you see that now, is it? <laughs> it took a while, but we got there in the finish, guys. We can now go ahead and put a piece of fertilizer in every single crop lot in our greenhouse now. Yeah, so looking at it from the bottom here, that's looking pretty good, isn't it, guys? A nice, secure area, finally. Oh, sure. I love how a random Rex has spawned up here. Thank goodness it's not an Alpha Rex, though. Level 95, that's actually not too bad, is it? Ah, it's just on the cusp of being okay to tame. But, unfortunately, it's probably going to pose a risk to us here, so I'm probably going to have to kill it. Sorry! Bye, Rexy! Bye bye <laughs> Ah, my base area is safe again. Man, it's times like this where I really wish I started to level up my crafting skill. I'd be able to craft stuff way quicker. You see, the thing is, I've never understood the crafting times in this game. For example... Why does it take more time to craft a fence foundation compared to an actual wall? The wall takes way less time to craft compared to the fence foundation. Go figure. The wall requires more resources and therefore, in my opinion, should take longer to craft. But, uh, yeah, we've got the exact opposite happening. Good logic there, Ark. Good logic. <laughs> All right, last few walls going down, ladies and gentlemen. Brilliant. And, of course, finishing off the fenced-off area with a pillar. Yeah. All right. Guys, we have now got double security for our base area now. Oh, yeah. Any of you guys noticed this yet? I decided to create a trophy mount, and the Alpha Rex trophy is in there. And yeah, this might actually be the first time I've ever managed to put a trophy on a trophy wall thing. This is great. I love this, man. I wonder how many trophies there actually are in the game, though. I imagine there's one for each of the bosses, right? And then, obviously, we've got one for the Alpha Rex. But are there any other Alpha trophies that you can get? I've got absolutely no idea. But anyways, here we are, my friends. We need to take every single one of these bits of fertilizer out, bar three of them. And we are going to fertilize all of our crops. And man, does that feel good to say. All right, here we go. Deposit fertilizer. 54,000 units. And the cool thing about the fertilizer is it lasts way, way longer than regular poop does as fertilizer. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and uh, place all of these things in. There we have it. All right, every single crop lot has now got fertilizer in it. <laughs> Oh, it feels good to say that. It really, really does. So check it out. Just by me putting feces in it before, just to sort of tide the crop over for now. Uh, yeah. We got a whole bunch of narco berries, baby. Hell yeah. We're going to make ourselves a bunch more narcotics with this stuff, my friends. This is great, though. I'm so glad that we finally took the plunge and made a greenhouse in this series. Because, yeah, turns out I really have been sleeping on the greenhouses, my friends. We can get a simply ridiculous amount of resources from them. And I'm so happy that we've done it. I really, really am. So check it out, my friends. Our top tier crops here are really starting to tally up. We've got over 300 potatoes, nearly 300 carrots, and about 200 each of the sweet corn and the lemon. So, yeah. 
Things are looking good. <laughs> We're going to be able to make ourselves kibble galore at this rate. In fact, since we have an industrial cooker, maybe that could be the next thing we do. I've been periodically picking up random eggs from around that base. We've got two Argentavis eggs, for example. And I'm hoping that I'll be able to start making kibble as I go along here. I just need to figure out how to make the kibble. Because I don't know if you can get like the recipe sheets for the kibble recipes. I don't know. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll have to go wiki hunting for those. So, my friends, we have an industrial grill, an industrial cooker, and an industrial forge. You want to know what's missing? The industrial grinder, okay? And also the chemistry bench. So, let's go ahead and uh, check out how to make all of those things, all right? So, there's the grinder. Requires 3,200 metal ingots. Wow! That is by far the most expensive metal ingot recipe I've ever seen. I didn't even realize you could get recipes more expensive than this. Wow. That is ridiculous though, isn't it? But according to this though, you can grind up already crafted stuffs and get resources from them. So if we wind up with a large surplus of certain loot items, we can put them in the grinder and get a whole bunch of resources back, which really doesn't seem like a bad way to go. But yeah, it's the initial sting of the resources required. 2,000 crystal, my friends. 3,200 metal ingots. It's bleeding insane, isn't it? All right, let's check out the chemistry bench. Uh, oh. That's actually incredibly easy, man. Alright, uh, maybe this is the thing we'll make in today's episode. This is basically a direct upgrade to the uh, mortar and pestle. So for us to be able to make ourselves things that you would normally make in a mortar and pestle way quicker and way more efficiently would be a very, very good thing indeed. So yeah, cementic paste, crystal, electronics, metal polymer and spark powder. They're pretty much all things we should have in bulk. So yeah, made it a fabricator. So let's go ahead and uh, muster up all of the resources for this stuff, eh? I knew I had electronics somewhere, my friends. We farmed up a good amount of tech power source before we went ahead and cryopodded them. So uh, yeah, all right. So that just leaves the polymer. Aha, uh -huh. can we make a bunch of polymer? If I was to grab some obsidian, I probably could actually. But then again, the easier way, let's be honest, is just to kill the penguin dudes. Alright, so one penguin has been killed and we're pretty much just making the rest of the polymer to make up for the lacking of it. So, uh, yeah, we just got to play the waiting game and we'll have ourselves a chemistry bench. Ah, well now, I completely forgot about the fact that the polymer requires cementing paste and as a result, I have now used my cementing paste. What a dingleberry I am. All right, well, uh, let's go and grab some more polymer from this guy. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. All right, and then we need to go grab some more cementing paste. Now then, it goes with that saying, just because we've gone ahead and uh, fertilized all of this stuff, it doesn't mean that we're going to stop collecting the fertilizer, because obviously it's the cycle of life, isn't it? We're going to wind up using it all, and then we're going to need even more, aren't we? So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and continue to collect the fertilizer. All right, so as far as I know, I've got all of the resources necessary for the chemistry bench, so let's go ahead and make it. Yeah! All right! Fantastic! Uh, all right, so we have ourselves a chemistry bench, guys. This is great. So, how big is it, is the question? Ah, uh, fairly big. I could probably squeeze it in this corner here. And we should still be able to access the industrial grill. Yeah, we can. Okay. Unpowered. Ah, it's too far away from my electrical generator, though, so uh, potentially it may need to move. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, well, let's go and find ourselves a proper place for it, then. All right, well, I think all I'll do here, my friends, is I'll go ahead and place down a couple more foundations towards the back here with a couple loads of stairs going up to it. We'll add in some railings at the side here. And then we should be able to rather simply put down the chemistry bench right about here, baby. Oh, snappity snap snappers. And as you can see, it is indeed powered. And we have 100 slots of inventory space. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, it's a beautiful sight indeed, isn't it, my friends? It has been a while since I've made a chemistry bench. The only sort of high-end crafting station we have left to make now is is the grinder. So, we're going to need to try and grab ourselves an absolute bulk 
of resources. Now, the good news is, of course, since we have an industrial forge, we can get the metal pretty easy. We just probably need to do a couple of metal trips, and then we should be good. The rest of the resources, it might be a bit of a slog, but we'll get there eventually, won't we? So, yeah. We're not doing bad, guys. We've almost got all of the high-end crafting stations done. I mean, aside from the tech stuff, which I've never done in the entire time I've played out. But uh, that will be something we'll come to when it comes, I guess. But uh, yeah, for now, we're looking pretty good, aren't we? All right, so I'm going to give the chemistry bench a little bit of a test. And we're going to see just how many narcotics we can get out of it. Okay, and more to the point, just how quick they can make narcotics. So let's pop on over here. Let's put all the narco berries in. Uh, oh, requires gasoline as well to be activated. So it requires two different fuel sources. Wow, okay. In which case, I am expecting great many things from this thing, my friends. If it requires two different sources of freaking fuel, uh, then yeah, it's got to be good, right? So, crafting 14 loads of narcotics. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, we get six per time. <laughs> oh, wow. That is beautiful, isn't it? Okay, very, very cool. We're going to be able to get ourselves stimulants and antidotes, gunpowder, spark powder, cementing paste at a great rate, my friends. Oh, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. All right. So if we were to go uh, kiting hunting, then we can go and make ourselves a bunch more cementing paste. And a lot of it. Oh, yeah. Give me all that kiting, lad. All right, 148. Looking pretty good, baby. All right. Oh, who else is around here, huh? Oh, there's another Pulmono. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give yeah, gimme all the kites before that stupid Rex gets it. Blimey O'Reilly, what is with the fog in this game? This is with my gamma up as well, ladies and gents. This is what it's like with no gamma. Oh, man, you literally can't see anything. Oh, that is so bad, though, isn't it? <laughs> what am I supposed to do with the information that I've got presented to me here? Ah, oh, times like this, I wish I could just sleep away the night like Minecraft and just reset the weather back to normal. All right, time for a bunch of cementic. Holy guacamole, that goes quick. <laughs> wow, 126 cementic based in quite literally a matter of seconds. Oh, man. The chemistry workbench is so worth going for. <laughs> wow. All right. So, I think the final thing I want to do in today's Odd Jobs episode is to upgrade to lampposts. So, do you know what? That's exactly what we're going to go and do. Let's start by transferring a whole bunch of metal ingots over to our fabricator. And, uh, yeah, that should hopefully be enough for us to get a good start on this. All right. We are upgrading our lighting to the metal age or the electrical age whichever floats your boat really never really understood what the actual difference is between the omnidirectional lamppost and the regular lamppost but uh, i typically go for the omnidirectional one because it just sort of looks better i mean they literally serve the exact same function and require the exact same amount of resources so I, I, don't, I don't understand. So then, turns out we can make 13 of these bad boys. So let's get them crafted up. And let's start scattering them around the base. So we have ourselves a nice glow. Hey, guys. Random side note. Looks like we are about to hit a level up. Like, literally 50 XP or so away. In fact, this next one should do it. Come on, baby. Give me a level up. Yeah. <laughs> beautiful isn't it all right we've got health we've got carry weight we've got all sorts of things going on i think honestly the thing i'll go for is carry weight all right so at level 102 i mean to be honest anything level 100 plus we can't get because we're not on genesis so uh yeah kind of sucks but we get ourselves a bunch of engram points so can't complain so let's begin on operation light the living poop out of this thing boom turn on oh it looks so much better though doesn't it Oh, brilliant. All right. Uh, can we maybe squeeze a couple inside of here? Hmm. Maybe I put one sort of in this little gap here. Uh, can we power it? Ah, oh, darn it. It's just out of range in terms of uh, being able to be powered. That's kind of unfortunate. All right. Well, uh, we might be able to put one sort of at the front here. Uh, let's give it a go. There we are. Turn on. 
Yeah, and we can still access both of these. Okay, brilliant. So we're going to need ourselves another load of electrical uh, circuitry around here so we can connect up, you know, more electric stuffs. But uh, yeah, all is looking well so far. Do we want to go ahead and just replace these here standing torches with lampposts as well? I think so, my friends. I think so. Ah, darn it. Come on, man. Uh, this was just out of range as well. Ah, oh, that sucks, dude. That sucks. Well, I can't say this is the most picturesque solution for our electrical stuffs being able to spread all around our base, but um, it's going to do the job, okay? And at the end of the day, that's all I need it to do. So let's bring this up here, and then, yeah, we can now connect all of this up. All right, sweet. So, yep, that's just turned yellow, which I think means it's now powered. So that means I should be able to turn on all of the uh, lampposts that are now in here. So, there we have it. Hey, <laughs> nice. All right, guys, so we've now got a whole bunch more lampposts and electrical generators and all sorts of bits and bobs all over the place now. And, well, as a result, I am pretty confident in saying that we have upgraded to the electrical age, my friendos. I mean, yeah, we've still got torches going on that are still burning, but even when they burn out, we will be totally fine because we've got these here lampposts. So as long as we've always got a supply of gasoline, we should have ourselves a whole bunch of electrical light, which is great, my friend. So, yeah, pretty good, isn't it? Pretty dang good. And that's just the start, my friends. Plenty more electrical stuffs and Iron Age stuffs and Industrial Age stuffs to come, my friends. So then, I think on that note, my friends, and it's time to wrap up the episode. Bit of an up jobs episode today, my friends, but I do hope you guys have enjoyed it nonetheless or learned a thing or two. If you did, of course, then please do be sure to drop a like. I very much appreciate it, my friends. Hit the subscribe button if you're new around here and you don't want to miss out on my future content. But for now, thanks for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.